height, but increase in height, variation in a temperature, climatic conditions influence as a type of a vegetation. Till the height of 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters from the mean sea level, generally as a tropical evergreen forests are found. Tropical ever, sorry, tropical deciduous forests are found. Tropical deciduous forests are found, but in those areas which are having as a wetlands means the rylands. This is as a one of the types of our alluvial plains, Bhabar, Khadar, Tarai, and Bhangar. So Tarai lands, wetlands, which are located as a lower parts of a Shivaliks, where the mountains separated from the plains. Mountains separated from plains at, at such of the places, tropical evergreen forests are found. But such kind of tropical forests, they are generally found till the 1,000 meters. 1,000 meters from the mean sea level. 1,000 meters from mean sea level as <clears throat> the tropical forest, tropical evergreen or tropical deciduous. Tropical evergreen in a wetlands, in Tarai regions, and in dry conditions as a tropical deciduous forest are found. But afterwards, so 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters, there is as the possibilities for the growth of a coniferous forest. 1,000 meters to the 3,000 meters from mean sea level. From mean sea level as the coniferous forest. Coniferous forests are found till the height of 3,000 meters from mean sea level. In such type of the vegetation, coniferous forests, the important species of trees are important species of trees are pines, P-I-N-E-S, in dry conditions as a tropical deciduous and in wetlands. Wetlands are consisting of the tropical evergreen forest. So such kind of the vegetation tropical forests are generally found till height of 1,000 meters. 1,000 meters. Afterwards, 1,000 towards the 3,000 meters. 1,000 to the 3,000 meters as the coniferous forest. Coniferous forests are found. Coniferous forests. Coniferous forests are found, which includes as a number of species of trees are, number of species of trees are, which are found in a, these forests are pine, P-I-N-E, pine, deodar, D E O D A R, silver firs, silver fir, S I L V E R, silver fir, spruce, spruce, silver fir, spruce, oaks, O A K S, O A K S. O A K S Cedar C E D A R C E D A R Maple M A P L E M A P L E Olive O L I V E O L I V E Ash, A S H, A S H, and some of the varieties of a bamboos are also growing in us, such regions. Bamboos, B A M B W O S. I'm again repeating as her names: pines, cedar, spruce, spruce, silver fir, silver fir, oaks. Deodar, D E O D A R, oak, ash, maple, olive, maple, olive, and some varieties of a bamboos are also growing in a this region. Bamboos also growing in a this region. Bamboos are also growing in a this region of a 1000 meters towards the 3000 meters of a height, which are known as the Coniferous forest, coniferous forest. 
Afterwards, the 3,000 meters to the 3,500 meters. 3,000 meters to the 3,500 meters known as the alpine vegetation. It is known as the alpine vegetation. It is known as the alpine vegetation. Alpine vegetation. <clears throat> Alpine vegetation, the important species of trees which are growing in this region are alpine vegetation, species of trees. Yes, Ashmit. Sir, how many meters? 3,000 meters to? 3,000 to 3,500. 3,000 to 3,500. 3,500. 3,000 to 3,500 as alpine vegetation. Alpine vegetation. Okay. Alpine vegetation. The number of species of trees which are growing in this region are Chilgoza, C H I C H I L G O Z A. I'm again repeating as a C H I L G O Z A, comma, junipers, J U N I P E R S. J U N I P E R S. Pines are also growing in this region. P I N E S. P I N E S. Birch. B I R C H. B I R C H. Silver fir also. Silver fir. S I L. V E R silver for F I R silver for silver for silver for honeysuckle H O N E Y H O N E Y S U C K L E S U C K L E S U C K L E etc. So afterwards the 3500 towards the 5000 5, meters. 3500 towards the 5000 meters. There are generally as a shrubs are growing. Shrubs and grasses. No possibilities of a growth of a vegetation. Just only as a shrubs, scrubs or Shrubs and grasses are growing above the height of a 3,500 to 5,000 meters. And afterwards, of 5,000 meters to the 8,000 meters from the mean sea level. From mean sea level, not possible for a growth of a vegetation because of heavy snowfall. It's due to the heavy snowfall. So as for the increase in height, temperature falls. With the fall in temperature, variations in a vegetation. Generally, as a broader leaves are lies in a Till the height of 1000 meters, afterwards, when the height increases in altitudinal areas in relief features, same as the sizes of the leaves, it becomes as a smaller in size and they become as a sharper. They become sharper. They become as the sharper. That's why as the tropical deciduous towards the coniferous towards the alpine, then afterwards as only as the shrubs remaining in a higher altitudinal parts above of 3500 meters from mean sea level from mean sea level. In these regions, there are two of the communities are living as the, two are written here, one more, Gujars, Bakarwas, and Gaddis. Gujars, these are the herding communities which are rearing as cattle. Gujars known for the rearing of a buffaloes. They are rearing as the buffaloes. Gujars, Bakarwas rearing as the goats, Bakarwas. And one more as a Gaddis, G A D D I S, G A D D I S, which are reading as a sheep. You are familiar with the Pashmina shawls of a JNK. Pashmina shawls. So these, that community of a Gaddis, known for the making of a such shawls, which are as the world famous. Gujars, Bakarwas, and the Gaddis are inhabiting in a such harsh climatic conditions, but due to as a heavy snowfall during the winters. They are migrating towards the plains. 
During winters, they migrating towards the plains of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, and afterwards again during the summers they return back towards their areas. But presently, there are the Gujar communities. They are living as on the permanent basis in the parts of Punjab and Haryana. In parts of Punjab and Haryana, Gujars are living on a permanent basis. Clear? On permanent basis, they are inhabiting in a parts of Punjab and Haryana. Gujars known for the rearing of a cattle for buffaloes. They are raining especially as a buffaloes, not as a cows, because as per the such harsh climatic conditions of a mountains, cows, they, are, they can't be as a living in a such conditions. So preferably they are <coughs> raining as a buffaloes only. Next, as a, in these regions of a mountain vegetation, what kind of the animals, fauna, animals living in a such type of harsh weather conditions? Tibetan antelope, Tibetan antelope, leopard, snow leopard, snow leopard, snow leopard, squirrels, yak, etc. Squirrels, snow leopard, Tibetan antelope, yak, etc. They are generally living in a such type of the weather conditions weather conditions clear now the next type of the vegetation as a mangroves which has generally found in a deltas mangroves lies in a deltas mangroves which are lies in a deltas delta means triangular piece of land formed by the river at its mouth when river divided into the smaller distributaries and deposited as the finer materials finer material on its term Rule number nine, raise your hand. Rule number nine. Rule number 19. Nine, 19, 29. Anyone from them, raise your hand. Nine, 19, 29. Yes, Pragun Sapra. So, Pragun. <laughs> I'm yes, right. sir. Anji. Pradun, yes, sir. Tell me, can you tell me the <clears throat> what type of the alluvial plains we call to the so, deltas in deltas? The type of alluvial soils or alluvial plains found in a deltas known as a loamy soil. No, I'm not talking about the soil. What we call to such kind of the alluvial plains because there are four types of alluvial plains are there. Babar, Khadar, Bhangar, and Tarai. Tarai has, lies in a foothills of the mountains. Sir, Tarai. No. Ye tarai, no sir. tarai lies in a foothills no, sir. where the mountains separated from the plains, means the part of the Shivaliks. Northeastern parts of a Punjab, eastern margins of a Punjab, it will be considered under the Tarai. Means Ropar, Patiala, these areas. Talwada. Yes. 39 roll number. 39, are you there? Okay, roll number seven. Seven roll number, raise your hand. 14, yes, seven. So Ashmit, what we call to such kind of alluvial planes, which are lies in a deltas? Ashmit. Sir, could you please repeat the question? What we call to a such kind of a landforms, alluvial plains, which are generally found in a deltas? Uh, sir, uh, I think so, Khadar. Khadar. Newer alluvium. No, it's an older alluvium. Bhangar. B-H-A-N-G-A-R. 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 So, mangroves, which are growing in a deltaic conditions, in deltas, in deltas, <clears throat> India having as a five deltas, five rivers are makes as a delta in India, in eastern coastal plains. Ganga makes in a West Bengal. Ganga makes as the West Bengal, Sundarbans delta. Second, Kaveri in Tamil Nadu. Kaveri in Tamil Nadu. Kaveri in Tamil Nadu. Kaveri in Tamil Nadu, Mahanadi in Odisha, 
Mahanadi in Odisha and Krishna and Godavari in Andhra Pradesh. Krishna and Godavari in Andhra Pradesh. Again, Ganga in West Bengal. Ganga in West Bengal. Kaveri in Tamil Nadu. Mahanadi in Odisha. Godavari and Krishna in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh. Mangroves, they are growing in a saline water. This is as their quality, they grow in a saline water. Saline water. That water which has accumulated in a coastal parts too as the high tides. High tides. Mount, mangroves, have, they are the very beneficial for us. Mangroves are beneficial for us. With the growth of mangroves in coastal regions, growth of mangroves in coastal regions, they protected coast from the tidal waves, tsunami waves, sea waves. If the sea waves regularly stacking over the coastal regions, then what will be happen? Erosion will occur. Erosion will occur, which is responsible for the formation of the sea arches. Due to as the existence of a mangroves, due to as the existence of mangroves, coast, coastal regions are protected from a depletion, from erosion. Second, mangroves given as the home for the many animals. So for example, Sundarbans, it has considered as a home of a Bengal tiger. Sundarbans as the home of Bengal tiger. Sundarbans as the home of Bengal tiger. Bengal areas, tribals which are living in a, such conditions. Why? Because deltas, as you familiar, deltas are rich in a finer materials of alluvial soils. Such soils, they are favorable for production of a crops. So tribals are in, inhabiting in a such type of the conditions. Conditions, such conditions. Such type of conditions. So mangroves are beneficial for the humans because it, they are protecting the coast from the tidal waves. Tides, as you familiar that the rise and fall of a sea water due to influence of a gravitational pull of sun and moon. Gravitational pull of sun and moon. And tides are the diurnal process. It's a daily process. Diurnal. D-I-U-R-N-A-L. Diurnal process. It's a daily process. Daily occur as a tides. So from the tidal waves, tidal waves protecting. Vanchika Kaveri in Tamil Nadu. Tidal waves are, <clears throat> from tidal waves, coast protected by the mangroves. So important species of trees which are generally growing in a mangroves are species of trees growing in a mangroves are sundri, sundri, S-U-N-D-A-R-I, S-U-N-D-A-R-I, s u n D A R I Sundri Kiora K E O R A K E O R A K E O R A Agar A G A R A G A R Coconut Palm Coconut Palm etc. Coconut palm, etc. So species of animals found in this region as a crocodiles, gharias, tiger, 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 crocodiles, gharial, turtles, tiger, which are generally as found in this region. Bengal tiger, a national animal, animal its home as considered as a Sundarbans. Sundarbans, which has extended in a parts of a coastal parts of a Bangladesh and West Bengal. Bangladesh and West Bengal. Bangladesh and West Bengal. And West Bengal. Now the one remaining as a tropical deciduous done, evergreen done, mango. Okay. Now as remaining as a thorny shrubs. 
thorny shrubs desert vegetation thorny shrubs thorny shrubs thorny shrubs we discuss regarding as a coastal regions which are known for the mangroves and the western coastal plains known for the tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest in a plains of india third type of the vegetation fourth as a mountainous now the deserts are remaining remaining thorny forest thorny shrubs thorny shrubs which are growing in areas receiving as a less than 70 cm of annual rainfall less than 70 cm of annual less than 20 cm rainfall recorded in a western slopes of Arav aravallis western slope 